much celebrate God for the privilege to be part of this month, July, week of emphasis. It's a day that wait upon the Lord and shall renew your strength. Thank Him for the grace, for the strength, for answers to all our prayers. Raise your voice. Don't mumble your words. We are praying to a God that answers prayers. It's not a prayer story in God. It's a prayer answer the Father. We thank you, my Lord. We bless you, my King. Thank you for bringing us into our prophetic weeks of harvest. Thank you for harvest of answers, harvest of fortune, harvest of favor. We thank you. We give you praise. Because even this seventh month is a month of perfection. You have perfected all that concerns us. Even as we wait upon you, we magnify you. Because every question mark in our lives shall be turned to exclamation marks in this month of July to the glory and praise of your name. Thank you, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I thought you were saying stronger. Amen. He said, God declares the end from the beginning. What do you want to see? What we would like to see the second half of the year. It has been declared that this July is a piece of madness. Somebody in this month is at the address of the sickness we like. Now, from this July, you will never know the middle of sickness again. You will never know the middle of confusion again. No one here will be stranded forever again. No one here will be a victim of sin again. That's the worst in this country. You have labored, it's a promise. From now, no more sin. From now, have this to the world. On no one can be sorry. On no one can be sorry. On no one can be sorry. For me and for all connected to me. My testimony. Spiritual honor. Congratulations. This month you shall be visited.
family. But because of this, I'm going to force this. My own life and sex and my friends. Number one, be born again. Your life is the most to be guided by God from the life of the enemies to the world
as a man, he humbled himself. So, taking the form of a servant, is described as being humble. So, when you see people who are not ready to serve, then God is not ready to guide them. It's not how much you go to prayers and fast in life. Specific word for that moment. Psalms 119, verse 25. The light of all, the entrance of his world, give it light. Entrance of his world, Psalms 119, verse 25. Give it light. You will give direction. You will know that this is God speaking to me at this particular instance on this matter. Voice. I said, we shall be hearing that voice. As I close, what are the primary tools of being led by the Spirit? What are the tools, the primary tools of being led by the Spirit? Number one, we enjoy the peace of God that passes all knowledge. The peace of God that passes all knowledge. Peace. Peace. 
God. I lost my peace. Let me go this one day. Because God is a God of peace. Most of the time, this is more. It's not a good one. I've taken steps that have brought too much into your house. Too much into your house. No one will take a step of the grace. I said, no one here will take a step of the grace. So watch out for me. Say, let the peace of God rule in your heart. Let the peace of God be the own fire. If you are taking this step, God, I want to take this step. Then check your side. Are you having peace on your throne? Let the peace of God be the referee of every major step you want to take in life. Let the peace of God rule. Number two, I know one. So, part of the people usually accomplish one of the things. You can't be led by God to do anything about that thing. Check it. Many people's misfortune are strong in life. You will not be able to do it. When you are there, Thank <laughs> you. 